in this movie. We'll begin filling in our artwork with color. And I'll show you how roughly and quickly you can do it, thanks to our ability to refine the results after the fact using the eraser tool. All right, so I'll go ahead and switch over to my artwork so far, and I'll select the blob brush tool. And then I'll go up to the stroke option, the second color swatch up here in the control panel, and I'll change it to this light shade of orange, R251 G176 B59. All right, now I'll press the escape key in order to hide that panel. And I could just start painting with my tiny little brush here, which is great for the outlines, but it's not so great for painting in large areas of color, which is why it's so great that you can modify the size of your brush on the fly using the square bracket keys that are just to the right of the Pia's and Paul key on an American keyboard. If you want to increase the size of your brush, you can press the right bracket key. If you want to increase its size more quickly, just press and hold the right bracket key like so. If you want to decrease the size of your brush, you can press the left bracket key, or to move quickly, press and hold that key as you see me doing here. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and roughly paint over this guy's face, and I really wanna cover everything but the eyelids with color. And as you can see here, I'm doing a pretty rotten job, but it's gonna work out just fine. And so I'll just kind of scrub back and forth here a little bit, scrub around the eye as well. And I want you to notice that so far, this is a standard path outline, and it should remain a standard path throughout your painting experience here. But if I were to go around and connect back with the beginning of my brushstroke, I'm gonna see the words compound path over here on the far left side of the control panel. And that's because I have this interior shape that's cutting a hole in the one outside of it. And so to return to a standard path outline, I'm just gonna increase the size of my brush like crazy. And I'm gonna paint around this area. I still have a hole, so I'm still seeing the words compound path on the far left side of the control panel. So now I'll press and hold the left bracket key to reduce the size of my brush and I'll paint in there. And as soon as I get rid of the hole, I should see Illustrator return to the word path to tell me that I no longer have any holes in my path outline. All right, now I'm gonna reduce the size of my cursor and paint in this area. And I also want to paint inside of the neck. So I'll just go ahead and whip that stuff in there like so, and then paint back and forth to make sure that I don't have any holes. Oh, and I missed the ear, so I'll just go ahead and paint inside of the ear as well. So we want everything about the face, except for the eyelids, to be painted orange. Now notice, your results are gonna vary, but I am now seeing the word group on the far left side of the control panel. We don't really want that, so to get rid of it, go to the object menu and choose ungroup or you've got that keyboard shortcut of Control-Shift-G or Command-Shift-G on the Mac, and then switch to the black arrow tool by pressing the V key, and go ahead and shift-click on this big path outline to deselect it, and you'll see the culprit. This little guy here somehow got disassociated with the other paths, and so just press the backspace key or the delete key on the Mac to get rid of it. All right, now I'll go ahead and click on the path outline to select it, and notice now it reads compound path, which means there's some kind of tiny little hole inside of it, and so to get rid of it, right click on the path and choose release compound path. That's the easiest way to work. And then I'll go ahead and shift click on a big orange path to deselect it. And now I'm down to no selection. We can see the words no selection up here in the control panel, which means we now have a standard path outline. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on it to select it again. And then I'll right click and choose arrange and then choose send to back in order to send that shape in back of the black outlines. All right, now you can see that I've gone outside the lines quite a few times, especially up here in the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in by control space bar or command space bar clicking on the Mac. And now I'll select the eraser tool, which is located two tools down from the blob brush in the single column toolbox. And now notice if I start painting, I'm seeing myself paint through both the orange shape as well as the black outlines. But as soon as you release, you'll see that the black outlines are fine and all you've done is erase the orange. And the reason for that is that the eraser tool requires a path outline to be selected in order for it to do anything. So if I were to paint up here back and forth, it looks like I'm painting away those black outlines, but as soon as I release, you can see they're just fine. So again, you can only erase selected things with the eraser tool. All right, I'm gonna paint over this another time there in order to do a little better job. And I'm gonna paint down in this region as well in order to erase that stuff away. 
And now I'll just paint down the outside of this guy's neck. And then I'll paint over here just to be safe. Now notice in this case, we've got a little bit of an edge here that didn't get painted in. And so I'll go ahead and switch back to my blob brush tool. You can see that the fill color is orange, no stroke. That's going to work out just fine. At which point I'll go ahead and paint that region in. The problem is it didn't join, and that's because the shape's in the background. And so Illustrator cannot paint to a background shape by default. And so what you have to do is press the V key to switch back to the black arrow tool, go ahead and shift click on the big shape to select it, and then switch once again to the shape builder tool and go ahead and drag over these three regions like so in order to merge them all together. That also brings them to front. So you gotta press the V key to switch back to the black arrow, right click, choose a range, and then choose send to back to once again move that shape to the back of the stack. All right, now I'm gonna switch back to my eraser tool and I'm gonna go ahead and paint down like so. Of course, you're gonna find different errors in your artwork than I'm finding in mine, or you may not find that many errors because you may have been a lot more careful than I was. All right, but throughout, you wanna make sure that you're not seeing anything but the word path up here in the control panel. For example, if I were to paint like that, I paint a hole into my path outline, and as a result, I would see the words compound path, which I don't want, so I'll just go ahead and press Control-Z or Command-Z on the Mac to undo that change. And now I'll just paint away these final mistakes up here toward the top of the head, and we end up with a nice orange fill that never exceeds the outlines. After which point, I'll just go ahead and press the V key to switch back to the black arrow tool, and I'll click off my artwork to deselect it. And that's how you paint in a colorful fill, as well as erase away any mistakes using the combined abilities of the blob brush and the eraser tool here inside Illustrator.